Mountains makes your brain operate 10x faster, makes you calm, makes you introspect, makes you think. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is Shovik Banerjee. And today's topic is everybody's topic. What is it? Risk takers versus risk averse individuals. Risk taking organizations versus risk averse organizations. Risk taking enterprises versus risk averse enterprises. Risk taking sports teams, risk averse sports teams. Risk taking filmmakers, risk averse filmmakers. Risk taking tech entrepreneurs, startup entrepreneurs, risk averse tech entrepreneurs, startup entrepreneurs. Risk taking family, risk averse family. Risk takers and risk averse people. Who are risk averse? And what is risk averse in today's generation? There's nothing wrong or right about these thoughts of mine or the guidance I have. Risk averse means people want to play safe. I want to do a 95 job. I am content. I don't want to risk my new job. I don't want to risk a new enterprise. I am happy with my role. I don't want to take a plunge or a jump. I am happy with the growth of my company. I don't want to pivot and take a risk because risk averse individuals have one point in mind in their life. What if it doesn't work? What if I fail? What if I completely tank and I make a hash of myself and the organization and my family? It's a fair scare. It's a fair emotion. Nobody in the world is asking you to take risks. You have to decide at a juncture in your life, at a juncture in an organization, at a juncture in community, at a juncture as a country, as a juncture as an ecosystem. Do you want to take a risk? Risk comes with the ability that you do not control the uncontrollables. Risk takers sometimes see hockey stick pivot and success. Literally hockey stick. They don't have a glide path model. Risk averse people will get into a plateau, slowly, slowly get into a glide path. There's nothing wrong. But I urge and expect the generation of today, whether it's a company, enterprise, startup, a human being, a man, a woman, a family, a young family, take certain risks. Because when risks are paid off, the reward is a hockey stick. You can take calculated risks. You can take absolutely data-driven, model-driven risks. You can take risks knowing that there will be a quotient of success and a portion of not success. But don't stay in status quo. Don't become stagnated. Don't become 100% risk averse. With risks, you have a framework. What is the framework? You mitigate a risk, you augment a risk. You plan a risk, you deploy a risk. I'll give you an example. Tomorrow, I want to leave everything and I want to learn the art of making films and documentaries. It's a risk. I'm not going to get money every month working for a business where I lead the business across the world. I might not do it. But if I start taking that risk in parallel, I will think I need equipment. I need network. I need a great topic. I need a great team. And then I first do my first project while I am the CEO of a large global conglomerate. And I deploy my first documentary. I've seen that with my life. While I was working for Accenture, how three of us made a movie. That movie won anything and everything, and including Sundance. It was a risk. Our reputation was at stake. But what we learned from that risk, 
you cannot learn sitting at home watching a YouTube video or watching me. Take the plunge of an idea. Make a model, make a framework. Build contingency of risk for that failure you expect. But do take the plunge, do take the risk. Stagnation is not an option. That's where risk averse ecosystem, people, enterprise, companies have to start thinking. It starts from that individual, from that leader, from that man down the ground. Risks are important in life. If you want to pivot yourself as a human being, as an organization, as a man, woman, a family man, a community, a country, and an ecosystem. I hope I've been able to germinate. I hope I've been able to drop a small trigger in your thoughts. I hope you take the risk. I hope you take calculated risks. Don't be stagnated. Don't be 100% risk averse. On that note, signing off today. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. This is Shovik. See you later. Bye.